the role of evolving conceptual frameworks. Several factors have led to widespread confusion or otherwise prevented consolidation of an updated evolutionary synthesis before now. 1. Our empirical understanding and detailed knowledge of the gene have improved considerably, but the earlier understanding dominates the conceptual framework. 2. The concept of random variation, an integral part of the conceptual framework of the modern synthesis, assumes independence of events that are actually interdependent in a variety of ways. 3. Darwin's classical concept that infinitesimal variations accumulate limits our understanding of other important types of evolutionary change, such as emergence. 4. Ever since Darwin, creationist leaders and followers have been vocal in their opposition to the concept that human beings evolved by natural rather than supernatural forces. 5. Creationists have unwittingly or deliberately sown confusion with false statements including, but not limited to, evolution is just a theory, evolution violates the second law of thermodynamics, and how can a random process generate complexity? 6. Creationists have tried to circumvent constitutional separation of church and state in the U.S. by falsely claiming to have alternative scientific theories such as intelligent design, which is pseudoscience. 7. The modern synthesis focuses on changes in the frequencies of genes and populations, but fails to address how genetic information is translated into complex structure and function during development. 8. Professional career pressures, institutional hierarchies, competition, and ego, which afflict all aspects of current institutions and human behavior, also apply to scientists. Consequently, some scientists are so eager to claim credit for disproving a theory or proposing a revolutionary new theory that they tend to accept specific specialized points of view, to the exclusion of others, rather than focusing on proven factual information. 9. Scientific literacy among the general public in the U.S. is quite limited, and professional scientists, communicators, and educators have not deployed effective tools to remedy this problem. 10. Science, truth, media, honesty, and critical thinking are all currently under attack by powerful commercial and political special interests.